Hey guys, what is up? My name is Elsie. Welcome to my channel if you are new here. If you are not, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Let's just get right into today's video. Am I the only one, or does everybody else relate to this, who thinks that buying gifts for boyfriends or brothers or dads or males in general is just so difficult if you guys didn't know i made a video of christmas gift ideas for girls and i posted it on tuesday if you haven't watched it go watch it i'll put it up here now i decided that i wanted to do one for boys as well males men i don't really a lot of these gifts and categories are kind of the same as how i set up the girls video so I have five categories today. They are clothing slash shoes, accessories, technology, miscellaneous, and activity. So in those five categories, I have about 50 ideas. I have like 40 something ideas. So I hope that somebody can get some inspiration for this video. I feel like it's very popular for girls to do what to get girls for christmas video ideas but i haven't seen as many what to get guys for christmas so i decided that i'm gonna make one and hopefully you guys like it so the first category is going to be clothing slash shoes In this video, I will put pictures in the corner if I think that they're needed, if I think that you guys don't know what those things are, just so you know. I will also put some links, maybe, maybe put some links down below, but I do recommend you guys, um, I said this in my last video, I do recommend that you shop from small businesses, local businesses, Etsy, places like that as much as you can, especially around the holiday season. A lot of these small businesses were really affected by COVID and quarantine, and I just really, really encourage you guys to shop locally, shop small. So, so now let's get into the first category of clothing and shoes. The first thing I have are flannel hoodies. I see a lot of guys wearing these now. They're a little bit more warmer than flannels, and I just know that a lot of guys really like these now, so I think that's a good idea. Sweatshirts kind of tie into that. Sweatshirts, hoodies, obviously guys wear those all of the time, and you know, if you're a girlfriend, you can just get one for your boyfriend that you like, and then let him wear it for a little bit and take it, if that's how you roll. The next thing are sweatpants and sweatshorts. Self-explanatory. A lot of these clothing things are just very self-explanatory. Fun socks. Guys love fun pattern socks. I see so many guys like wearing. Like I know Oren has some socks that with avocados that have sunglasses on them or Scooby-Doo socks or he's got so many and he really enjoys them. The next thing are graphic tees. This could be a band tee, a movie quote tee, TV show, any graphic tee with a funny saying on it. I see guys wearing those once again all of the time. The next thing is sneakers. This is kind of very broad, very general, but obviously everybody's different, so not everybody's going to like the same sneakers. Air Force Ones are good ones to go with. They go with everything, especially if the person you're buying for is a little bit more stylish. If they're not, then just mm, tennis shoes. I know that Brooks are really good, Nike's really good, Adidas. Obviously you guys know the brands of tennis shoes. The next kind of shoe are Hey Dudes. These have gotten super popular over the past two years. I've heard that they're really, really comfortable. I personally don't have any, but I have heard that they are super duper comfortable. The next item are moccasin slippers. But I don't know if I would classify what I have in my head as moccasin. I just could not think of another word. So I will be putting a picture up here somewhere of what type of slippers I mean. I got some for Oren and he wears them all of the time. Some of them have like fuzz inside of them and that's the more moccasin-y type ones. But the ones that I bought him don't have any fuzz inside of them. So I don't really know what to call them. They were from the Crocs brand. I just found them on Amazon. 
And then if you want to do something a little bit more pricey, um, a Carhartt jacket's a really good idea, especially if they like to be outside, they're outdoorsy people, they, or honestly just need a coat because those are super warm and very, very good quality. All right, the next item, pajama pants. Especially in college, I see guys wearing pajama pants literally all the time. Pajama pants, who doesn't love pajama pants? And lastly, in this category, I have gift cards. Gift cards to anywhere they like, you think that they would like, anything like that. Let's move on to the next category, which is accessories. Now, I know that when you think about guys' fashion, accessories might not pop into your mind. Like, that might be more of a, of a women's or, like, girls type thing. But there's actually a lot of accessories for guys that I thought about while making this video. So the first thing is a belt any kind of belt. Second thing is sunglasses. Personally, I had one pair of sunglasses that I like used in the car and stuff. I have no idea where they are because Oren did something with them. So sunglasses are always a good idea because clearly they need those. A wallet. I know a lot of guys ask for wallets and wallets are actually a really cool thing that you can get personalized. You can get, I feel like Etsy would be a very, very good place to get a wallet. You can get wallets with sports teams on them. I know my brother has a St. Louis Cardinals wallet. Wallets can just be so personal and personalized and really just the guys love them. And it's something that guys need, so you might as well make it cool, you know? Next thing is a watch. Now, obviously, some watches are very, very, very expensive and some are not so expensive. So whatever your price range is, obviously you would just have to go around that. Next thing is a hat. Self-explanatory for any sports team, any. Those could also be for like playoffs of movies and TV shows and honestly any hat that whoever you're buying for would like. A duffel bag is a good idea, especially if they are in sports or anything like that. Bracelets. Now, bracelets are, again, something that you might not think of necessarily, but I one time made Oren this, like, string bracelet. It's one of those where you tie, and it's, like, the chevron pattern, I guess. I don't really know how to explain it. But anyways, I made him this bracelet, and he wore that thing all of the time. Like, it's, I think it's sitting in his car right now because it just got so nasty and, like, torn up and dirty because he literally wore it every single day which I didn't expect him. He's not like a jewelry type guy. And so maybe, I think that obviously part of the reason he wore it so much was because I made it for him. So if you are getting a bracelet, maybe try and make it because then it is personal, but it still looks good and you can do any colors that you want, any style that you want. The next thing is obviously not for everybody. Like I said, Oren would probably never wear this, but I know that a lot of guys would. That's a necklace. Any type of like, a lot of guys wear chains, a lot of guys wear chains with crosses, a lot of guys, just any necklace that they would like, especially if they do have one or two or they have been talking about wanting one or two. Ooh, the next thing you can also get personalized on Etsy or probably other websites as well. That's a pocket knife. I feel like everybody, not even just guys, I just feel like everybody should have a pocket knife, right? I feel like that's, especially if you're like outdoorsy people, why would you not have a pocket knife? I don't know. I just, I just think that's a really good practical gift idea. Second to last in this category is cologne. Self-explanatory. And lastly is a beanie, which is another type of hat, sock hat, whatever you want to call it. Those you can also get personalized or you can just do a color. I know Carhartt's really nice. North Face is really nice. There's lots on Etsy. You could do one for like the school that they go to or the place that they work at or anything like that. The third category that I have is technology. Now I have a little bit more in this um, category than I did on the girls one because I feel like 
overall guys play video games a little bit more and I kind of thought about some of those things. But the first thing I put is AirPods. The next thing I have is a game controller. Now I know that my brother just gave personalized game controllers to all of his groomsmen in his wedding this past week, which I actually think is a really cool idea. The third idea is a light up keyboard. Now my brother has one that's really cool actually, and it lights up like different colors under the keys. The mouse lights up as well, and you can like hook it to the keyboard. I don't know how it all works, but I know if he plays certain games, then like the keyboard will do different things or it'll like turn different shades of blue or rainbow or it's a really cool thing honestly not even just for people who play video games but I feel like people who especially play PC games would really really enjoy that and the next thing I have books and movies can also go along with that movies are always a good gift next on the list is a speaker I know that JBL speakers are really good Especially waterproof speakers, those are really cool. You can have those in the summer at the beach or around the pool or anything like that. Or in the shower. I know some people have like shower speakers. Honestly, any kind of speakers are pretty cool. The next thing is I was gonna put video games, right? Like the disc video games, but then I was like, they don't use those much anymore. So the next item is a Steam gift card. Steam is like where you buy a lot of games now, especially for PC games. You like make a Steam account and then you buy the game off of there and it just like downloads onto your whatever console you have. I think I explained that right. Like I said, I, I don't play video games, but I listen to my brother a lot. So I think I explained that right. So a Steam gift card is a really good idea if the person you're buying for really likes video games. The next idea is also for a person who really likes video games, that is a gaming chair. Now these are a bit more expensive, but I know so many, like, if they play video games they're obviously going to know what it is and they're obviously going to probably want one. I know that there are some non super expensive ones and then there are some really expensive ones, like some have cup holders. Some have speakers in the side of the chair, so it's almost like surround sound. Some have crazy things, lights on them. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. So a gaming chair is a good idea though. And lastly on the tech category is a gift that anybody could enjoy, and that is a Nintendo Switch. Even if you don't really play video games, Nintendo Switch they're just so much fun, especially if you're playing like Mario Kart on them, that's a lot of fun. A lot of people, even if they don't normally play video games, I think would really enjoy a Nintendo Switch. So yeah, that concludes my tech category. And my fourth category is miscellaneous items. Some of these, I just didn't know where to put any of these. I, I didn't want to have 10 different categories with only two things in it. I don't know. I just, it's just a, yeah, miscellaneous pile is what it is. <laughs> the first thing I have is a water bottle, which I guess could kind of tie into accessories, but I feel like for girls it could tie into accessories, but for guys it really doesn't if that makes any sense. Anyways, a water bottle. I know a lot of guys who carry around like jugs, right? I know Oren personally carries around a jug or he did till he lost it. The next thing is a Dollar Shave Club um, subscription. I know that Dollar Shave Club does like different packs and different prices and they send different things and whatever, but I think that's a really good idea. Next thing, snacks and drinks. Very self-explanatory. The next one is home organization stuff. Now this one isn't maybe a gift that a lot of guys would really enjoy, but a gift that a lot of them need. So you know, any any type of home organization kind of things that will help them. The next idea is a cooler. 
I know that Yeti makes really, really good coolers. Those are a bit more expensive though. Igloo, um, any cooler brand. Those you can also get personalized, which I think is really cool. I am guarantee that there are some on Etsy. Guys, Etsy has everything that you could ask for. So many things. Next one is a tool set. This could be a giant tool set. This could be a little tiny car tool set, like that you just stick in your car. I don't know. There are lots of uh, ideas for tool sets. Or no, that's not what I want to say. There are lots of different sizes, lots of different uses, and once again, it's more of just a practical gift. I feel like guys are more, are typically more into the practical gifts that they would actually use. If whoever you're buying for likes sports, I know that a, or it participates, let me say that, participates in sports. I know that a massage gun and a foam roller is a really good idea. Uh, and personalized sports equipment. Two more things on this miscellaneous category list. The first one is a grooming kit, which kind of goes with the Dollar Shave Club, but I know that especially if they have like a beard or something, grooming kits are always a good idea and the last one is a rubik's cube and last but not least our category now is activities first idea in the activities category are yard games this could consist of can jam spike ball cornhole etc. I just saw on, I think it was Pinterest, or no it was a website but I don't remember the website, a cooler that was like a foosball table on top. Isn't that so cool? How do people think of these things? I don't know. That one would be a lot of fun. Like a volleyball net, anything like that just to get you outside, get you moving. If you're having like a little bonfire, or you're grilling out, yard games are a lot of fun. The next idea is board games so that's more of like an inside night type of thing there are lots of fun board games out there there are lots of like funny ones there are also lots of like logical thinking ones there's sequence is actually a really cool one that Oren and I and his family really enjoy and it has to do like you have chips and you have a deck of cards and you have to get a certain amount in a row and you can block the other team and it's really fun. It's more of, I want to say it's more of like a thinking game, but at the same time, it's really not. It's kind of like a luck game as well. I think there's a little bit of strategy, but there's a whole lot of luck that goes into it. So that one's a lot of fun. Um, brain teaser puzzles are also a really good idea. My mom and dad got Oren some of these and my grandpa some of these for Christmas last year and they talked about them so much it was so funny just to watch Oren and my grandpa talk about these puzzles and like try to figure them out together and actually my grandpa would already have them figured out and he would just be like watching Oren like try to figure these out and it was so funny but it was also like kind of the next idea are sporting event tickets like my brother loves, 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 loves St. Louis Cardinals baseball. Brother, he, he loves baseball in general, but especially the cards. So tickets for that would be a good idea. Any sporting event that you can find tickets to, and honestly, they don't need to be professional teams because honestly, it's the experience and it's the memories that you make there, which sounds so cheesy, but it really is. The next idea is camping gear. Um, if you guys like to camp, or if he likes to camp or whatever camping gear would be a lot of fun now that doesn't just mean a tent that means like some people really like to cook um, so you could get like a cast iron skillet or one of those grates that goes on top of the fire or like knives or anything like that also and lastly my very last item of this whole video is not really an item just an idea um, just pay for any activity that they like to do. If they really want to go go-karting, go go-karting. Go if they really want to go, like, roller skating, go roller skating, you know? 
just pay for any activity that they would like honestly you could even say like i'm gonna let you pick our activity but like i'll pay for it or if you're dating say like i'll let you pick our next date but i'll pay for it so then it's still like a gift type of thing yeah so that's all that i have for you guys today I hope that you guys did enjoy this video and honestly I hope that it did give you some inspiration. I feel like I know a little bit more now and when I was like researching this last night and like coming up with these ideas myself and I don't know I just hope that it can give you guys some inspiration. Once again if you personalize gifts it just makes it so much more thoughtful and a lot and a lot of gift ideas can be found on Etsy, they can be found on small local businesses. If you guys did enjoy this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up, comment on it, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I have some videos planned in my head coming up that I think a lot of people will enjoy, but I can't do them yet, and I will explain that more when the time comes, but just stick around because I'm hopefully in the next month few months or so I'm going to have some very very exciting videos planned for you guys and that's all that I have for you guys today so I hopefully will see you guys Tuesday and thank you for watching thank you so much for watching I'll see you later bye